Good morning. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, April 12, 2023. I'm Nadia. And I'm Simone for the Board Morning Good Morning for Stoke on WFOM TV. After school activity classes are off today. Girls on the run meets after today after school. Girls soccer plays Dresden today after school. You must have time to audition stuff the day after and watch the game. Auditions for the spring talent show start tomorrow after school in, in, D, in room D113. The 2023 Four Stoke yearbooks are on sale now. The cost is $20. You can order it online at www.freepix.com and the password is FOMS23YBZ in all caps. Orders must be placed by March 3rd. We also May, th May 3rd, sorry. <laughs> we, also, we, have, we also have a limited number of last year's yearbooks available for purchase in the media center for $20 in cash or check only. If you have any questions, ask Mrs. Montez. Would you like to say happy birthday to someone special? Stop by the media center to fill out an announcement. <laughs> Get one for your boo, your BFF, or your mom. Here's Ms. Allen with a tip from counseling. Good morning, everyone. When beginning a new marking period, it's important not to forget about everything learned in the other marking periods. You should continue using habits that work and start building new ones if necessary. Using an assignment notebook or other assignment tracking method is an especially important habit to practice to get going. When you check your progress throughout the marking period, there will be no surprises when grades close and you will not have to scramble to retake, revise, or turn in work at the last minute. Also consider the following strategies. You, one, set up an organizational system for stored material. Decide on an organizational system to store past work so that you can more easily keep your new assignments tidy and accessible. Two, create goals to address and support past marking periods weaknesses. For example, if you study all at once the night before your exam, the solution incorporates short and frequent periods of study to improve retention. When whatever your new goal, put them in motion early and often. Then practice those goals until they become regular habits. Number three, set aside time for progress check-ins to build self-monitoring skills. As recommended, you should be tracking your grades and assignments all marking period long. When you get in the habit of monitoring your own progress and grades, you can respond more quickly to areas of concern before it's too late. When you understand how to begin strong, you can avoid costly grade penalties that affect confidence and performance long term. You give yourself a chance to check in with your teachers, develop your communication skills, finish your work to the best of your ability, and set new goals to make your best even better. Thank you. I hope you incorporate these goals. Thank you, Ms. Allen. That's all for today's edition of Good Morning for Stoke. I'm Simone. And I'm Nadia. Have a wonderful Wednesday. GMFO out.